4K, one of my favorite little buzz phrases out there. 4K, 4K camera, 4K TV, 4K delivery. Netflix is now in 4K. A lot of people don't even know what it means. <laughs> I think most people get the idea that all 4K is is just better resolution than 2K, HD. And that's exactly right, but of course, there's a lot more to it than that. So I wanted to talk to you from a production side about what exactly 4K is, when to use it, and when not to use it. Thank you for watching. I'm Michael Bruner of Brogan Video. To be very specific, 4K in its standard terminology refers to a video image that's 3840 pixels wide by 2160 pixels tall. There are many other flavors of 4K out there, OpenGate 4K, Cinema 4K, Ultra HD, but the long and the short of it is that a 4K image, if using the entire image, has four times the resolution of a high definition image, 1920 by 1080. I find it kind of hilarious that people say they need a 4K camera or a 4K capable cell phone when all they're doing is shooting videos for social media. You do not need 4K for social media. In fact, many times a 4K image will fail to upload just because it's too big and many platforms won't even accept them. And if you're watching a 4K video, many times you're not you're watching a scaled down version of it that's set for your phone, unless you're watching it on a full 4K television, at which point it might have a very long time to load. So in social media where people want video fast, I think there's a good reason to do HD or below. And a lot of times they perform much better. The best use for 4K is as a production tool. I likened it to think of a butcher who you order a one pound steak from. Well, if you go out and get one pound of meat and then realize you have to do some uh, slicing off of some fat and some trimming, then you need to cook it. When you deliver that to the person who ordered it, it's not gonna be one pound anymore. I'm comparing that to an HD image. If your final result is going to be HD and you start with HD, but then you realize the tripod was a little off angle, so you correct that. And then you play with the colors a little bit, and then you do this and you do that. The final image might not be a super sharp, high definition image anymore. If you start with 4K, you have a lot more to play with when delivering a beautiful HD image. In the same metaphor, the cook, if you ordered a pound of steak, well cooked, I go get four pounds. I take it, I trim, I cook, I have enough to even take a couple of tries. And then what I give you is exactly one pound, exactly the way you want it, prepared the way I intend it to. So 4K as a production tool for video editors is, in my mind, almost essential. One of the funniest things about 4K, 2K, and all this video terminology is the fact that it really doesn't matter depending on how good the image is. I honestly think that most people would rather watch a DVD of Lawrence of Arabia than watch a 4K of a really ugly, poorly shot movie. Even though DVD is so much smaller, so much grainier, so much blockier, it's just the quality of the original image is what really sells it. The quality of the storytelling. This has been proven in film so many times when directors would purposefully shoot on small handy cams or just downgraded footage and still producing an incredible result. The image trumps the equipment entirely, every time. One of the biggest things that I love to laugh at when people were saying that you absolutely need a 4K camera, you absolutely need a 4K cell phone, is for the longest time, the films that we were seeing in cinemas that were almost all digitally projected at this point 
are in HD, the same resolution as Blu-ray, the same ki the same resolution that we had in DSLRs 15 years ago when I first started. Those were the images being projected on a 30-foot screen because viewing distance, if you're sitting 100 feet away from a 30-foot screen, you're not going to notice the difference between HD and 4K. In the same way, if you get a great big 4K television, but you're sitting too far away, you're never going to see the difference. So cinema, for the longest time, doesn't really even use 4K, doesn't make 4K films natively. Thank you for watching. I'm Michael Bruner of Brogan Video. Remember, at its best, video is a tool for genuine communication between people, as it should be. So get out there and share your heart.